Yeah, because I'm too cheap to go out there and find an intro track. Here we are on a lazy holiday Friday morning. Yeah, here we are, the day before um, Independence Day. Um, and this is the fifth video, but the fourth book in our series of best beginner motorcycle books, best beginner bike books. And um, I actually am going to just, you know, I haven't said already, I'm going to just expose myself right now. And it's not me. It's not just me. Some of the other people agree with me. This is my favorite motorcycle book, Total Control by Lee Parks. And Total Control is just an excellent book. It um, definitely is laid out in a way that I think that is really great for um, beginner riders. I would say that there's never a problem with this being the second book you read after you read the MSF Basic Rider Course book and really absorb the content that's there. That's a really great preparation for getting you into this book. Lee has a plethora of experience. He actually takes the time to break down some very basic content, content um, like traction, steering, suspension, um, spring rates, um, a lot of the mechanics, you know, the physics of riding. And then he drifts into, and let me see if you can even see this, he drifts into the mental aspects of riding. He talks about things like fear, concentration, and... Um, and just having the right attitude when you're out riding. Um, that's just the beginning, you know, for Total Control. Um, I, I personally have found this to be one of the most enjoyable reads that, 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 I, that I have in my motorcycle bike book collection. Um, I've read this one more than once. It definitely, you know, after that he gets into body dynamics. And so he talks about some things like vision and line selection, um, throttle control, shifting, braking body positioning, you know, a lot of those things in the previous book, Twist of the Wrist, we talked about a lot of that body dynamics and um, Lee actually does leverage, I think, some of the information that you find in some of these other books that we've already talked about, like Proficient Motorcycling and Twist of the Wrist, but he really brings it all together and really puts together a really great, you know, recipe for information for people to learn when they are... Um, trying to become better motorcyclist. Um, in addition to that, you know, he will talk about low speed turns. He'll talk about your suspension setup. He'll talk about your, um, your chassis tuning, um, terms you hear people use. You don't necessarily know what they mean, um, trail braking, and he will break it down in such a way that you can actually understand what it is. Definitely puts you in position for additional learning. Um, he will talk a little bit even about your own physical fitness when you're riding, about your riding gear, about the aerodynamics of riding. All of that's in here. And um, it's definitely one of the reasons why, and, you know, and actually there's some great photos in here as well. But this is one of the reasons why I really, you know, I really love Total Control. Now, in addition to that, Lee Parks also... Um, he is the founder of the Total Control Advanced Riding Clinics. And if you haven't ever taken the Total Control Advanced Riding Clinic, I highly advise you to do so. Um, some states have actually shifted from the Motorcycle, Motorcycle Safety Foundation um, as being their basic training for people to get licenses to doing the Total Control Clinics as their basic courses, or they potentially may offer both, and allowing you to complete the basic, some of the basic courses in Total Control um, when you go out there to get your driver's license. So, you know, that lets you know the content really is that good. And um, definitely it's something that you, you know, you want to take the time to get into. He'll get into um, spring rates and damp dampening and things along those lines when it comes to the suspension. There really is a fly is just bugging, bugging me. But, um, you know, he really does take the time to 
you know, dive into some of those topics that you, you know, you hear people talking about it and you kind of can follow it, but you're not exactly sure what they're talking about. Definitely piques your curiosity to go out and do research and look at other sources of information, but it gives you a good, you know, strong basis to use to go out there and find the information and, and learn from some of the other resources as well. I'm going to say it one more last time. Um, Total Control, High Performance Street Writing is, you know, one of my favorite books. It is one that I strongly recommend. Um, one last point on this that I remember um, just, just hit me. Lee Parks talks about the fact that he realized that there was a big gap between doing basic motorcycle training and then going to the track and doing a track day to do high speed uh, motorcycling. And he really wanted to give people some course curriculum and some training that would fill that gap to get you from the basics to the high performance stuff. And Total Control definitely does that. And that's one of the things that makes it very unique because there just are not a lot of books out there that really tackle, you know, this fly is going to die. Um, <laughs> um, there just aren't a lot of books out there that really hit that gap and give you the information that you would need to have in order to bridge from a basic motorcyclist to someone who actually goes out there and does um, high speed um, riding on a track or in a race setting. I mean, and not to say that the track days don't aren't a great place to start and, and not to say that you can get everything you want out of a book because you can't, you gotta ride. However, you get more out of your riding when you've actually, you know, really embedded a lot of knowledge in your brain because such a large part of the riding is the mental aspect. Of course, you've got to do the muscle memory, you've got to do the motor skills, you've got to get the techniques down, but um, it really helps to know what it is you're supposed to be trying to get down. And um, total control, twist of the wrist, proficient motorcycling, they really clarify for you what you need to know in order to go out there and begin to practice and practice in a meaningful way. And that's why, you know, our top four books for beginners really all gear around um, giving you the, the knowledge and the skills to be a better rider. Now, um, after this, we're going to go into our fifth book. Our fifth book is going to be a shift of gears. And we're going to talk about something else that is also, a, to me, an important part of bike life. But um, we're going to talk about motorcycle maintenance. In, um, in, in a couple of our next few books. So um, check out Total Control. I think there might be a link down below for you to click to, to purchase it. If you don't, go ahead and do the search and find the book and buy the book. And the book's about, you know, I think so far I've covered about uh, 20, 40. I think this was $17 actually. 20, 40, 60, mm, Depending on where you go anywhere, between, you could spend anywhere between $20 and $80 for the four books that I talked about. And um, I definitely feel like there are thousands of dollars worth of information in these books. And so um, I strongly encourage you to buy them. If you don't want to buy the books new, definitely go out there and just pick up one of the used books from online. Order it, read it, study it, and go back and read it again and study it some more. Because each of these books that I've spoken to... Um, they really do have, a, you know, every page has something of value. I don't think there's a wasted page in any one of these books that we've covered so far, nor is there a wasted page in any of the next two or three books that we're going to cover. So um, with that, um, Rocket Rolls over and out. Everybody enjoy your day. Did none of that get recorded? You got to be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. <laughs>